coming up, I couldn't believe this was Azerbaijan. So today it's time to see some of the wonders of Azerbaijani landscapes and we are heading to Gobistan where there are loads of mud volcanoes apparently. No idea what a mud volcano is all about but we shall see. As we're driving out of Baku, you can see loads of oil fields. So you can see where the money comes from. But I can also see that they are switching to tourism pretty quickly. <laughs> Welcome to Azerbaijan. Thanks so much. As soon as you reach the edge of Baku, you get desert vibes before it changes again. It's a bit like Mars, isn't it? It's very Martian, Martian landscape. Before we went to the mud volcanoes, we stopped in another area of Gobostan briefly to see a UNESCO World Heritage Site that boasts rock art dating back 40,000 years. Loads of rock art here. Um, but there's only one thing on the rock that my kids are interested in. Can you guess what that is? A modern age spider. They've got really like massive thighs, massive thighs and stick feet. I guess every civilization has the thing that they, they think is attractive and I wonder whether it was big thighs. If you come to Baku, it's definitely worth taking a short trip out here. It's only about an hour away. It's completely different to the kind of modern luxury landscape um, that's been built up in Baku. But it's fascinating to see and it's fascinating to see, uh, you know, the hint of civilizations so many thousands of years ago. So we're now going to the mud volcanoes and we're in a four by four. And uh, normally we'd be kind of squashed in with the boys, but we found a better place for them. Really pleased I did my hair this morning. As you drive on, the landscape becomes even more barren looking. And before you know it, you come face to face with these unusual little mounds of earth. It's like this lunar landscape and the volcanoes are all relatively small, but apparently at the top of them, there is a bubbling mass of mud. Let's see. One thing I can tell you is that it's very, very windy. That is amazing. Look at this scenery. There's water down there. Can you down there? Look. I always thought volcanoes would be hot, but when you touch the mud, it's very cold and it's very clay-like. You can hear the bubbles before you even get to the top. They're about a metre across some of the bigger ones. And uh, yeah, they kind of remind me of a stomach that's possibly had a very, very, very strong curry the night before. Ismail, tell me, tell me. So you have sugar, Azerbaijani tea? Yes. With my lovely driver today. Okay, Looks done. <laughs> so sugar. Yeah, and your then mouth. Yeah. And continue drink tea. And then you keep the sugar in your mouth? Yes, yes, and drink tea. Mm. Like that. That's how you do it. Yes. It's how? other style. <laughs> do you put do you have lots of sugar for one cup of tea though? Yes, yeah. Keep on maybe putting one, it in. Maybe one, maybe two. Yeah. <laughs> maybe two. <laughs> yeah. Mm, it's nice. Hang on. Mama's chai. <laughs> What's your name, sorry? Samondar. 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 Samondar's mum's chai. <laughs> it's coming with me, it's too Samandar good. Name, big water name. Big water. Mmm. That's good chai. Samondar's mama knows how to make chai, that's for sure. Can't go anywhere without chai. It literally powers my legs. It literally powers my legs, more than oxygen. This is it. Now, what have we got here? I love this old car. It's like a larder or something. Look at this. Proper, like, looks like old Soviet style. Not that I've been to Russia, but it looks like Soviet style to me in my mind. Look at this beast. This is brilliant, isn't it? Taxi. What is it? Is it a larder? That's what I imagine a larder is. Is it? Does it say what it is? Mm. It's amazing, right? Yo, bro. Amazing! It's too hot. It's bubbling it's in the middle. Too hot, is it? Yeah. Oh, this one's bubbling as well. It's jacuzzi. Oh, look at you! Look at you and your finger. Oh, don't touch me in my pink shirt. It's fine. It's right. Honestly, you can't take kids anywhere. 
Anyway, I really recommend this place. It feels otherworldly and it's mind blowing to see the cold mud bubbling away. Now, just as the heat of the day really kicked in, it was time to head back towards Baku and grab some food. Oh, what we go, what we go. Oh, thanks so much. We've stopped at a fish restaurant and I've asked to go somewhere where the locals would go. We are ready for lunch now. And uh, I didn't want to go back into Baku um, before having some, something a little bit local. There's play areas here, obviously where they bring their kids. I'll tell you what, Azerbaijanis look like they spend a lot of time making sure their kids are happy. Look, by the coast, on the Caspian Sea. Look at this. Jake's saying he can see loads of fish, so let's go and see the loads of fish. It's probably why there's... Where? What? Oh my goodness. Wow. That is a lot. Jake, um, you gonna eat the fish? I think, I think Jake might have ordered the chicken. Here we go down here, look at this. Oh, hello. Hi, thanks. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you. Something that's quite common in Azerbaijan is to be brought multiple cold dishes to choose from. We went for a simple salad with some dressing and then ordered chips, fish and chicken for the main. Azerbaijani trout, likely plucked from the Caspian Sea. Let's see if it's any good. I'm sure it is. Mm. The way it's... Um... Mm. That's lovely, isn't it? That's really meaty. Crispy on the outside, soft. It tastes like it's literally the freshest fish. The salad looks very fresh, literally like it's been plucked from someone's garden. I'm obsessed with tomatoes abroad because they are always different to how they are in the UK. Look at that, look. <gasps> mm, look at that. Mm -hmm. So juicy. It's a different experience having tomatoes in a, hot, in a hotter climate, I think. The chicken looks like it got run over by a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think uh, the official term is spatchcock chicken. Let's say it. Spatchcock chicken, I think. Chicken. Or as Isaac would say, roadkill. Mm. Barbecue chicken. Chuck mm. Great. Very nice. We headed back to Baku and had a freshen up after all the mud and sun before getting ready to head up to the flame towers in the early evening. We're going to see the sunset and then we're going to see the towers hopefully light up. Walking through the neighbourhoods and I still, I just can't get over the architecture here. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Look at this. Now look, this is the funicular. So we're going to be taking this up to the flame towers. You see? Push. <laughs> okay, go Jake. Look at this. Ready? There we go. Very smooth, very smooth and modern. Oh look, there's, a, there's, a, there's the first one. There's the first one, there we go. Getting closer. Look at the skyline there, look. It's like Star Wars, episode of Star Wars. The view's gonna be amazing from the top. We're getting glimpses. Right, here we go. Right. Look at that. It's so beautiful with the old mosque as well. Look at it. City Wind made it to a watchtower and just looking at the city. As the sun dips, it's pretty, pretty gorgeous. Look at this. It's a really great place to come for pictures by the flames because the minute you turn around, 
Look, your hair's all lovely here. Now you turn around, look what happens. Oh, there we go. There's the flame towers. We stayed there until the sun dipped and we watched the lights come on before exploring the nightlife a little more. There's so many parks in Baku, you wouldn't believe it. And every single one seems to have like music and cafes and restaurants all around. Oh, look, someone playing the piano. Isn't that nice? Look, just like that. So this is the um, Philharmonic State Park, Azerbaijan Philharmonic State Park. And it's gorgeous by night. I'm sure in the day it's equally lovely. There's fountains, um, there's little benches everywhere, there's trees, there's shrubs, um, and just walk past the grand piano. So I think there's music everywhere. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. Bars, restaurants, cafes. I mean, it's, this place is buzzing. But it's, it feels like it's got something for absolutely everyone. What do they do here? Two like, like lamb kebabs. Like yeah, that's cool. We just stopped at the very top of the Philharmonic Park. It's beautiful. We're sat outside in this gorgeous kind of like cafe garden and we're having some little snacks and drinks and milkshakes before we go to bed. And they've just brought out these really cute little aubergine uh, rolls, beautifully decorated, perfect with a cocktail. That's so good. Easily, you could easily spend a week here and I don't, I mean, you'd be spoiled for choice. Oh, I think cocktails and milkshakes are coming. Look guys, look, look how nice they are. Oh Who's my goodness. Is wow. Okay. No cream. Jake wasn't in a sharing or caring mood. That is delicious. Oh, I'm really jealous now. No, I'm not. That, my friends, is what we call a strong end to a brilliant day.